The country is in crisis. The deficit is huge. The chance of assassination is high. Will Orbital Potato be able to save the day? Tune in to find out. Yes, ladies and gents, I cannot pretend that uh, that we are in a particularly good situation, but you know, here we are. We have uh, we've we've got the hand that we've been dealt, and I must say, it is a truly horrific hand, full of just two of hearts and clubs and diamonds and everything, all of the bad cards for the game of poker, we've got them in this hand. It is truly, truly horrific. We've got five political capital, we've got a deficit of 113 billion. We did try our best to expand our, um, our economy, but unfortunately tax evasion is just so unbelievably high at this current moment. Um, maybe in the next couple of turns we could look at reducing our, um, our income tax level. Maybe that will mean that the tax evasion modifier will stop and therefore we can collect some more money. But I'm somewhat, uh, I'm somewhat doubtful. We've still got this general strike which is rumbling on. Unfortunately, we just cannot kick it. Um, for whatever reason, we're very, very close to being able to kick it. Alcohol abuse is coming down similarly fast. But again, we just need that extra little, you know, oomph to get us over the line. Um, and also, we've got Street Gangs. Street Gangs is uh, it's coming. We're working on it. But, you know, we're not there yet. So, as I say... We're in a pretty dicey situation. Seven turns away from the election. I'm not super looking forward to fighting it, but if we can survive until the end, I would classify that as a major success. We've got five political capital to spend, a welfare fraud department. Now, this might actually be something that we could introduce, um, but truthfully, I want to try and introduce a policy that will help that will help lower our chances of being assassinated by the Battenberg group. The Battenberg group uh, is currently plotting against me, so I'm very, very hopeful that if we can perhaps maybe introduce a trade council, international trade and boost economy, smart meter program, no, work safety law, no. I think the trade council is good for making the capitalists happy. I can't really remember. Let's introduce it. Nope, it doesn't do that, but there we go. It's going to make some sort of a difference. Let's see if we can introduce anything else. I don't think there is anything else that we can do. No, social justice. No, none of this stuff is going to appease capitalists, really. Yeah. Well, you know what? We tried. Let's save the remaining political capital that we have. We actually do have quite a good cabinet at the moment. Uh, thankfully, conservatives and farmers don't actually hate us. Yep, conservatives quite like us. Farmers absolutely love us. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope that this isn't the shortest episode of Democracy 3 ever. Let's go to the next turn. Have we been assassinated? Have we been assassinated? Have we been assassinated? The answer is no. There was a failed assassination attempt. Uh, the Battenberg group were responsible. We tried. Okay, uh, the good news is, is that crime is actually pretty darn super low at this, uh, at this moment in time. Uh, the other annoying development is that nothing else has gone away. Everything is still pretty darn crummy. Uh, but we've got a good opportunity here. We've got a good opportunity to try and get uh, the Battenberg group in line. Now, uh, can we introduce something that would perhaps help us? 25 political capital to get tasers. That would be something that would increase the security service effectiveness. It is adequate at the moment, but it's not effective. Uh, wiretapping we would also be able to introduce so all of this stuff would definitely help however I, w I think that you know we've got to realize that the way to a capitalist's heart is through their pocket and therefore we've got to try and we've got to try and make that happen uh, income tax I want to reduce income tax I want to get it way down um, because this I mean there's so much stuff that is annoying capitalists Limit the automated trading. We could lower this. But that is such a small modifier anyway that I don't think it really makes that much of a difference at all. General strike is still not ending. Still not ending. Street gangs. It's happening, but it's not happening fast enough. Alcohol abuse. It's happening, but it's not happening fast enough. Ghettos. Ghettos should definitely start to come down at the moment. 
Um, also, it's worth noting just to make everyone abundantly clear, the global economy is the best that it's ever... That it's, that it's, the, the global economy has been doing the best that it, it, is, it has ever done recently. It's not going to get any better than this. It's only downhill from here. Uh, we also need to start thinking about an election. So I think what we need to do, what we absolutely need to do is we need to try and reduce our income tax. I'm going to try and see if we can perhaps bring this down to like 100 billion. Maybe if we bring it down to... Maybe we bring it down even further, you know? Let's bring it down to like 80 billion. The problem is, is that our deficit is going to charge, charge up. Which I'm super not happy about. But we're going to have to do it, I think. We need to put ourselves on an election footing. And we also need to try and improve our relations with, uh, with the capitalists. So let's do that. Most importantly, the reduction in income tax is only actually going to cost us 7 political capital. Which frees up a whole bunch of political capital for faffing around with foreign investor tax breaks, pandering to the whims of huge capitalist organizations. It's going to be quite a costly endeavor. Government subsidies for unions, no, that's not going to help anyone. Technology grants, I would love to do that. Consumer rights, no small business grants. Sure, let's do this. Let's absolutely do this. Okay, so let's pump this right up to the max. Capitalists, going to be happy with us. Capitalists' income, also going to increase. Socialism uh, membership, membership and trade union membership, not to mention a little boost to, uh, to GDP as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, this uncompetitive economy thing is... We need to just kick that a little further away. The problem is that this debt crisis really is absolutely hammering us, uh, and there's not very much that we can do about it. Yep, nothing else, nothing else that we really, I was a way to say nothing else that we can really introduce that would make any difference to anyone, but I think that this will actually make capitalists happy with us. Yep, there we go. It's just a little bit, and it decreases uh, the membership of uh, socialism, but again, it all costs money, it all costs money, and it's, it's all, it's all adding up. Can we introduce a welfare fraud department? I feel that that is a way to make us a little bit of money. Shows us as a little bit less compassionate, but it does make the conservatives happy with us. And also, middle-income people happy with us, so that's kind of nice. Also, it is a policy that makes us money, as opposed to just losing us money. So, there we go. Um, I don't think there's any other taxes that we want to really introduce. We are, you know, pedal to the metal with the carbon tax. The carbon tax is, I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but it is lowering GDP. Uh, and it's making capitalists unhappy with us. But the problem is, is that we need it. We absolutely need it. Yeah. Corporation tax. Corporation tax might be something that we could potentially reduce. But I don't really think that we want to reduce it any further than what it already is. Yeah. But the good news is, is that once the income tax sort of takes effect, we might be able to get rid of this black market. And that would save us $20 billion. So that is huge if we could get that done. Also, it'll... Hopefully, we'll be able to finish the, um, the the tax evasion nonsense. Flat income tax. I need to keep this. I need to keep this up high. I need to absolutely make sure that this is as high as it possibly can be. We're going to reduce it before an election because, of course, if we want to continue to play and if we want to continue to survive, then we're going to need to make sure that we get uh, we need to get the middle income people on board. They really don't like the debt crisis. There's not much I can do about that. I'm afraid. Uh, the debt crisis is just going to rumble on forever, I imagine. Anyway, let's go back to praying that we don't get uh, assassinated here. We've managed to stall the uh, the super violent groups. We don't have enough political capital to introduce any other policies. How's our cabinet doing? Our cabinet's still holding strong. I like that. Let's pray that we don't get assassinated. Come on. Capitalist plot. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, crime is continuing to fall at a very, very rapid rate. That's really, really great. Power lines. Uh, stop constructions. Yes. Stop construction of power lines. Let's do that. Okay, let me see. How big is our deficit? How big is our deficit? 215 billion. Oh, no. All of that. We worked so hard to try and get that fixed. 
Um, unfortunately, it takes a couple of turns to get the tax evasion policy finished, or we need to the tax evasion evasion modifier finished. Black market similarly is going to take a couple of turns to take effect. Oh man, it's so annoying. But the good news is that hopefully we're going to be able to make middle middle income people like us a little bit more. Um, I think that we probably have appeased the capitalists as much as we reasonably can appease them. I don't think that there's anything else that we could really introduce that would make them happy with us. Uh, free eye tests. Might be kind of nice. Yeah, I think we need to try and get ourselves some tasers. Yep. Tasers, I think, is what we need. Unless we can get... Unless we can get anything in transport that perhaps makes a little bit of a difference, but I don't think that it actually does. I think toll roads actually do. Toll roads is this weird policy where capitalists actually really like toll roads. I really have no idea how that actually happens, but hey-ho, it does. Um, yeah, let's introduce a law and order policy. Let's, uh, let's introduce tasers, which I know is going to have an effect. It's not really that popular, but hey-ho, liberals aren't going to love it, but what can you really do? We need to defend ourselves. Um, yeah, so the membership of the Battenberg Group is continuing to rise. Not much I can really do about that, I'm afraid. Capitalists really don't like us for a whole bunch of reasons. The uncompetitive economy, still we haven't managed to get rid of it yet, unfortunately. Uh, productivity is... it should be going up. Productivity should be going up. Technology should also be going up. The science funding and the technology backwater. The technology backwater is decreasing, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Everything in this game, and everything in general, takes such a darned long time to to do anything. It just, it just takes ages. It takes ages. It takes ages to do. Um, we need to start getting manifestos. The opposition, oh my good golly gosh, the opposition is just doing incredibly. Um... We need to start throwing all of our... We need to start throwing all of our points into media stunts in order to try and get ourselves re-elected again. That's something that we're going to need to bear in mind. Hopefully we don't get assassinated. If we do get assassinated, then it's all going to be for nothing. Nope. Capitalist plot. That's fine. Celebrity endorsement. That's really, really good. Crime is now, is now bottoming out. It's like zero now. Organized crime has finished. Great. Really, really good. Uh, good news, our economy is doing well. I mean, the global economy is literally about to tank. The deficit of 225 billion doesn't exactly help with that. The fact that we've got a horrific credit rating uh, also does not help with that. We need to find some way to get rid of all of this nonsense that's currently going on. General strike is about to end. The general strike is about to end. That's really, really good. Alcohol abuse is going to end very, very soon indeed. Ghettos will eventually end. Street gangs going to end probably next turn. Homelessness, we don't really care about homelessness, it's not that big a deal. Technology backwater is going to end eventually. Debt crisis is not going to end anytime soon. And the uncompetitive economy is slowly but surely, slowly but surely ending. Pollution uh, is probably not going to end anytime soon, because the environment isn't in a super great position at the moment, but that's fine. Everyone is pretty pissed off with us at the moment, but that's because we have a, a, a debt crisis. Yeah. We need to get the middle income people back on board. State employees, unbelievably, actually love us. I'm not entirely sure why they love us, but they do, so that's great. Um, yeah. Tax evasion? Tax evasion's not ending anytime soon. The black market is actually going to start to end, which will put a little bit more money in our pockets, because at the moment we're still... We're not getting the full value from the income tax, sales tax, or corporation tax. So, once that ends, that's going to be something that we can be quite happy about. Are there any more taxes that we can introduce? A luxury goods tax? 37 billion? Maybe. Plastic bags tax? Health food subsidies? No. Recreational drug tax? Automation tax? Punitive wealth tax? Punitive tax on superstores? There's a lot of, like, little policies that might make a difference, but I'm not sure that in total they'll actually make any difference. Curfews, detention without trial, armed policing, none of this is really possible. I think that at this rate, the most likely thing 
after an assassination is getting us uh, I think that we might just we might just be out of a job at the end of the the five years uh, unless we can find something that would make us immediately way more popular I don't really know what it is the flat income tax is despised by everyone their happiness is just abysmal really Yeah, all of them pretty much despise us. And it's the debt crisis. The debt crisis is the debt crisis is really kicking our butts. The celebrity endorsement really, really helped. The debt crisis really doesn't help. Happiness is decreased by the carbon tax. Let's scale that back. Scale that back to like 24. Let's scale that back to like 20 billion. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm 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 firmly on election footing now. We've tried our very best to get the deficit down. It didn't go entirely smoothly. We still want to try and get it down, but unfortunately we're just not managing. Debt interest is about 50% of our spending. I guess that's actually okay. Um government borrowing is a huge horrific section of our uh, a huge horrific section of our expenses. Is there any policies that we can really introduce that would make any difference? Import tariffs that would make us some money, but nothing really. Yeah, there's just there's just nothing else that I see that would make that would make a significant difference. Yep, which is a real bummer. Which is a real, real, real bummer. I mean, maybe we just. Mm, no. The problem is, is that we want to try and kickstart our economy. We know that. We we know how to do it. The way that we do it is by finishing off this debt crisis. And if we finish off this debt crisis, then it makes everyone so much happier with us. But the problem is, in order to finish off the debt crisis, uh, we need to we need to win another term. We need to win another election. And uh, at the moment, the chances of that happening, very unlikely, I would say. Let's do a media stunt. 82% chance that this works. Sure. There we go. Another another point. We are pretty compassionate, trustworthy. So there we go. We are super trustworthy. We want to try and do more media stunts going forward because otherwise uh, people are... Not gonna like us. Capitalist assassination. Apparently that makes people try and like me. Alright. Oh, that makes people like me if they try to assassinate me. Great. Okay. Hopefully we don't get assassinated this turn. If we do... Okay. We've not. Campaign speeches are now available. Great. Our approval ratings are still zero. That's still worrying. That's still dreadfully worrying. The deficit is now 278 billion. We reduced the carbon tax. Uh, I mean... We're trying. We're really, really trying. Their happiness is increasing. Popularity, current value, we have three turns. We have three turns to get it to where it needs to be. The manifesto, pledges can make uh, just before an election. We want to try and get, we want to try and get the socialists' happiness with us up. I mean, we've done a pretty darn good job of trying to make that a reality, but the problem is, is that most socialists, I believe, are also membership. Uh, their membership is also, you know, the middle income tax group, so chances are, even if the socialist part of them likes me, the fact that they have to pay astronomical taxes probably doesn't like me. Um, we'll give it our very best shot. Sure. Retired people? No, I don't really care about retired people. Trade unionists? No, I'm not really that bothered about that. Self-employed people? Liberals? No, not super happy with that. Patriots? No, poor... Sure, we'll do that. And then 
state employees. Yep. All right. Parents. No, not the wealthy trade unionists. I feel like I need to try and appeal to the more socialist, more socialist side of things. Yeah, so let's appeal to trade unionists. Let's give this speech. All right, let's see how it goes. Trade unionists seem to like us. The problem is, is that we're still running this risk of uh, capitalists deciding to... Uh, capitalists deciding to assassinate us. It's not exactly ideal. Capitalists don't like us. Okay, fine. Look, that's fine. That's good. That's all things considered. That's pretty darn good. See if we can run any more media stunts. Parties, the opposition, the EU. EU ain't doing so good. Perceptions, media stunt. Let's do it. All right. I am trustworthy. I'm not going to do this last stunt. That's a 50% chance of it being successful. I'm not willing to risk that. And we don't have enough political capital to do these to do these things. Train with the army? I don't want to do that. That's not something that I'm willing to try and risk. Okay, uh, criminalize child labor. Yes, let's criminalize child labor. Hopefully everyone is going to start to like us just a little bit more. Street gangs, we might be able to get street gangs done before the end of the election. Hopefully. But let's go to the next turn and hope beyond hope that we don't get assassinated. Come on. Come on. Well. We knew that it was a risk. It was the capitalists all along. Truthfully, I feel that even if we weren't assassinated, even if we weren't assassinated, we would still most likely not be able to win the election. We certainly were trying. We were certainly trying, but unfortunately, I don't think it would have been. I don't think it would have been possible to uh, to win the election and get the deficit back down. It's it's just so difficult. It's so difficult, and that's the way that the game is balanced how it is. Uh, I, of course, changed the, uh, the, the the debt modifier, which, of course, gave us a massive, massive deficit and a massive pile of debt with which to clear through. So I think that we tried our very best. We tried our very best, but sometimes, in the end, your best isn't enough. So that's what happened to me. I upset the capitalists. That's the pretty much the way that it, uh, that it happens in most of my playthroughs I would hasten to add but I feel that we we did give it a good we gave it a good shake we tried our best but it wasn't enough it wasn't enough I'm going to be playing some more Democracy 3 for sure uh, this time it was all about Brexit Britain I might do uh, another uh, interesting uh, country and combo playthrough in the future but we'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the series, please do let me know. I would love some feedback. Uh, I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of editing, a couple of memes inserted here and there. Please do let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below. My name is Potato. This has been Democracy 3. I'll see you next time. Bye.